Hey everybody, it's the Holy Bible. As you can see, I'm versus a scion this game. And it looks like he took grasp, which usually means that they're going tank instead of AD. If they go AD, normally it, the goal is to get the kills in the passive, and so they go phase rush. Now this scion asking me to help him with his challenges. So I'm I'm not a bum. I'll go about it. So this ends up being quite the spicy game. As you can say he said as you can see, he says he needs to hit blast guns to uh bink bonk people in opposite directions. So that's what ends up happening. Um this game I'm Pretty much the only AD. I mean, we've got Shaco, but he doesn't really auto attack a ton. I mean, he does, but eh, he's more playing around the boxes. And they have a decent amount of range this game. Uh, bot lane, double ranged, Kindred, pretty obnoxious. And as always, gotta help the jungler. Happens every game. You can never start the top lane on your own. It's very sad. I like to. E it and then tank two auto attacks from the red buff um, with my passive shield. Right there it swapped aggro so I actually got hit by the second one but it doesn't matter. <coughs> so it looks like Scion's not pushing because he's typing I'm a baller. Here E gives you extra auto attack range and so it doesn't, not by much, I think it's 50. And so it allows, allowed me to get those three minions there. E just to punch through him. It doesn't look like he's got bone plating. And he's just being a goon. This is a 1 million mastery point scion player. So he at least knows what he's doing. We hit two first. Step up. We have lethal tempo. We want to proc that as fast as we can. Get his flash for free. So unfortunately that does push in the wave a little bit faster than would be ideal but we cancel his Q get the kill and we're out he definitely can't kill me at this point so we'll just step back he's gonna get the wave no matter what so unfortunate but he can't get the second one and we can just push this in anyway he most likely will TP and there it is so we're just gonna get this pushed in as hard as we can with taking as little damage as we can because we know Kindred should be roughly around topside we just got spotted by the blast or by the vision plant. <laughs> I said blast cones haven't spawned yet, so our quote-unquote truce hasn't happened yet. <laughs> he understands. He respects it. So here, pretty much always, I like to get the pickaxe. Pickaxe is really nice, um, just because it's hard to build into unless you have the precise amount of gold. And if you have um, enough later, you can always fill your slots with a longsword. So here I get the thought that he might be going for Krugs because they give a lot of max health to Scion players. But he isn't. I ward it just in case because he just kind of disappeared. Not exactly sure where he went. Maybe to ward something. Maybe to gank mid. Who knows. But instead, I walk up into the bush just for a second in case he comes to get a cheeky Q, but yeah, he walks back. I think he was looking for a healing fruit, but who knows. Homeboy juked me pretty hard, and just absolutely styles on me, so we let it pass. <laughs> it is weird. Normally, Scions will trade into you much harder. Obviously, he's BMing a lot, so he's not getting the opportune... Um, punishes that he could be and he's just getting absolutely worked got once again big wave coming in we can't kill him under tower here but my jungler is around topside so if i pull the wave here i should be able to proxy unfortunately the wave goes back to his side so i'll just try to hit the demolish and let it be I know my jungler's around here once again, so I can maybe bait the Scion into a fight. I don't know where Kindred is, so it's kind of sketchy, but she's not currently on her Gromp, so I mean, it should be fine. 
If she comes up, though, we should be able to blast her. <laughs> I ward just in case. And there's the kindred. We get the kill anyway. It was really scuffed. I started to type to try to get him to walk into the blast cone and then inevitably get hit by Shaco box. But then Shaco just kind of went in. So it's whatever. And then Katarina comes up. I get my blast shield proc and don't die. I'm not quite sure what she was doing. <laughs> but telling Scion precisely where, uh, where the blast cone is. I'm going to recall and TP for him. So Blade of the Ruin King is always the best buy versus Scion initially. Um, Black Cleaver is also pretty good, but since he's constantly getting health from the minions, you are constantly getting more damage from Blade of the Ruin King. So here, I take the cannon, and then just try to trim the wave and hold it here just for a second. Even though he's at that blast cone, I'm just going to hold the wave here for a sec. Oh, unfortunately, my Shaco hit the blast cone on his way out, so we didn't get much. I used my Q just to escape his charged Q. It doesn't always work, but if you can get it, it's pretty nice. Once again, I feel like he could be going towards the Krugs, so I just try to clear this and then go back to it just to stop him. But Krugs don't appear to be up, so I'm actually going to red. Oh, he's on the blast cone, naturally. And there it is. The top lane truce. So back to farming we go. <laughs> no more blast code, no more truce, you know. So here, I'm level 6. So my R, I can fight him. But if he ever uses his R, he's also unstoppable. Here, I get kind of blasted. I could have played this much better. I could have R'd when he used his R, but it's okay. He flashed out. It's pretty tragic. I try to get some cheeky alcove gaming here. If my blast shield came up, I could have survived a little bit longer, but I did not expect the burst. Didn't expect it. Hit him with the fat XD. So back to the top, he's probably going to get a plate off of this, just because Demolish is pretty nuts. We E the minions so that we can, you know, hit, the, or I would, it, the, okay, so the attempt was to get the tower to proc on him. And we are able to get a good chunk of damage, but it doesn't quite matter since he's going to recall anyway. But, you know, it gives us, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a silly way to think about it, but... If you hit the opponent right before hitting the wave, you get lethal tempo for the wave. So it does help you clear faster. I like putting a little ward right in there just in case the jungler comes. And then naturally I start Rift Herald. He's pushed up. I want a little bit more mana just in case. And we should be able to fight him at any point here. He isn't super strong in comparison to us. We're far stronger, but there are too many minions to give up to, you know, actually intentionally fight this guy without, you know, giving up too much. So we got Rift Herald. We know their blue's up. We know Dragon's up. I just want to fight this guy as much as I can. It is hard to get around the Scion Q there and maneuver it all when he hits you with his Roar of the Slayer, his E. But if you ever see him use his Q like that, it should be a chance to fight him. Because it's on, I believe, a 7 or an 8 second cooldown. I see that Kindred's around bottom and still playing around bottom, so I'm just going to go and take her blue. When you can do this, definitely optimal. Highly recommend. Scion starts to... So it's kind of sketchy, because I thought he might be coming for me. I still got Rift Herald recall, so it's fine. He ends up going mid and down towards the dragon. So I want to go back top here, even though dragon was fought over and whatnot. I've got Rift Herald, 
and I want to be greedy and get as much as I can. <laughs> Scion sees it. And he's like, no, oh god, no, why? Why? And then we absolutely, as one might say, demolish the tower. He apparently sees another <laughs> blast cone, so I tell him one sec, let me get the tower real quick. And then I'll grab the last couple minions. Perfect. A ward just in case I was getting cheesed. And we just follow. We see Kindred. That's okay. She starts to fight me. He blast cones me away. I wait here in case she's still chasing. And then we're going to go for her at her gromp. But she shows mid. It's really hard to dive Kindred because of her ult. Scion's talking about how he's not going to betray me. What a homie. So here I'm still just waiting, hoping she's going to come back for Gromp or do something. Or possibly gank mid, which is what ends up happening. They go mid. I can't do much. I really need to go back up top here. So I think that's what I start to do. I just leave. And naturally, as I queue away... Oh, I want to recall. <laughs> As I'm leaving, that's when an engage happens. He hits him with the fat bubble. And I just get the free pickup. <laughs> Unfortunately, Zoe does get the kill, but it's alright. Scion should still be pushing top here. That would be quite a lot of plates. I would have lost a lot off of this. Um, but he didn't, so I got pretty lucky. So into Scion, although... Triforce is good for extended fights and it gives you more damage. Um, Divine Sunderer does so much healing based off of max health. ITP down is totally unnecessary, but I thought Scion would go in much harder. So I go for some cheesy Alco gameplay. He doesn't see me. So once Rockus slows him, get the free Q. He can't go anywhere. Silence, give Rock or give Syndra the kill. And just so that he can get little, we kill his passive as well. Kindred's pushing top lane, but whatever. I want to Q flash this Kaisa, but she's playing too far away. I don't know who, where her team is. <laughs> Unfortunately, Katarina just gets absolutely blown away. And I'm still bottom. I really need to be split pushing here. Once again, I want to flash Q, but it's too difficult. They're too far away, and it's too easy to dodge. Plus, it might not even be in range. Here, I came in here in case Cyan was here to, to give him a blast cone thing. But then I was like, eh, nah, I'll just go. Katarina jumps in, gets blasted. I need to leave. Kindred is coming. I was thinking we might be able to fight more, but it's probably for the best that once again I just leave because I'm wasting quite a lot of time. There, I probably could have flashed and E'd stopped the Teemo's back, but it's alright. No biggie, no biggie. We get the kill. I don't have to go here. I thought my uh, Zoe was going to do a little bit more, but, I mean, he was pretty far away. It's okay. Sion finds another blast going, and <laughs> he misclicks unfortunate but we actually give him a twofer here Whoo look at that racking up those challenges <laughs> so once again we can demolish this scion I want to try to side lane as long as I can versus this guy he's just ignoring me which is an absolute mistake so here I are him I didn't realize that Vi's R sped up as much as it did, so he just gets away for free. If you have flash, you can flash in front of his ultimate while you're going to stop it, but then you both collide. <laughs> I give him another blast cone, but I think he's already out by now. Oh, he's coming. He's on his way. What a glorious video game. 
and we go for Rift right after. We get our own challenge of one shell is better than two or whatever it's called. Unfortunately, I don't get anything for that. And I E before my blast shield is up. So she just <laughs> dumps on us. I don't like TP too much, but I realize that with Scion, since they like to split push so much, it is really good to take it versus them. Here I'm pretending like I'm actually scared of this fight, but <laughs> we we just demolish her. If I didn't play so cocky, I guess, um, the Kaisa would have just played back by her tower the whole time. I see my team fighting, and I realize only after then that I can go in. I want to try to keep the Rift Herald alive and hope the minions don't hit it. We get one more fat charge, and once again, I realize that they're not coming back. I thought they were. So, we get a free inhib. Now, Kaisa's the one alive, and she's got her W, so you kind of want to walk a little bit out of the way, just so that you don't get randomly tagged by that as you're recalling. Same thing with Ezreal ult or Jinx ult. <laughs> so the next item is going to be Black Cleaver. As you can see, we just easily took that Baron, no problemo at all. Don't worry about the team being all dead and whatnot. <laughs> so Black Cleaver is very good. Um, it gives you HP, CDR, movement speed, damage, and more, more armor pen on top of your W. So the armor shred, not armor pen, it's roughly the same thing though. Um, it's good to keep in mind because the Blade of the Ruined King percent health damage is physical damage so the less armor they have the more percent health it actually deals so it's really nice to have armor shred and that's why Vi loves the item because of her denting blows shredding armor and doing percent health itself so this is a very split push heavy Vi game naturally gotta get all those objectives where you can Scion's running in. We got Blast Shield. We got R. We got so much healing. Ah, I queued after. I didn't expect him to flash once again. So I think I can just dive him as long as he's uh, totally alone. Wait for his actual shield. And we kill him. If he had Phase Rush, he probably would have been able to catch us. <laughs> I go in just to proc the Blast Shield just to be him a little bit and then uh he steps back at the same time so it was kind of kind of awkward <laughs> tp in back to split pushing signs up in 15 we can get what we can while our team is doing their thing mid lane I'm not actually scared of these players or this champion. As you can see, I just half hit her in two hits. But the Kindred ulti really, really negates me as a champion. And the tower is pretty scary because I don't actually have armor. I only have the boots. So I live off of my passive shield, healing, and then shredding the opponent's armor. Not actual defensive stats. So back to split pushing. Pretty PvE game. And occasionally I use my tap Q just to get a proc of the Divine Sunderer. It's better to hold it once you're towards the end so that you can Q out as opposed to, you know, doing much else. So I know that they're kind of low. So I go back in. I'm not actually very scared. I know I can kill him. I could kill the Kindred there as well, but I knew that the Scion was, you know, gonna blast me, so it was better to try to run. 
Right there is Akaisa getting her W, which was unfortunate. Getting collected. No escape. Just like in the previous Callista game, it doesn't matter how fed you are if you don't get to retaliate. <laughs> Coming for the blast cone, as always. Gotta help out the boy, help out the homies. <laughs> how goofy. So here we're just waltzing around. Top's going to push by itself. Mid and bottom end hips are up. I'm looking to try and just take them by myself. I run into a Kindred and I don't have ulti. So it's kind of scary. I'm just standing in this bush outside of her wolf range. As you can see the circle. If I was in there, wolf would still be able to, you know, bite at my ankles. So it's better to stand just outside. I was hoping she would keep walking in, but she didn't. So it's all right. I really want to backdoor these inhibs while my team is fighting because I see two of them there, so it's likely that the opponent is going to go and try to stop it. But oddly enough, two of them are there, so we just queue back out. No harm, no foul, I guess. I stay around just in case, but we see Scion, and so since three of them are bottom, I'm just going to bail. Here I want to play towards a wall, so that if he tries to ulti I can just queue over as you see, and he won't be able to stop me. But if I just go in a straight line versus his ulti, um, I, you know, get hit by it, as <laughs> he just keeps running. I don't know why Raka was running towards me. My team was all on Baron, and I was, you know, side laning, so... I even tried to back ping her a few times, but she didn't want to go, so I just TP back into the fight. I'll see Teemo before he's out of range, hit him with the Q so that he won't be able to blind me, and then we go for the Scion. <laughs> just stop him from doing anything to my team, just keep molly whopping him. Ping pong him around, beat him up to beat up the Baron. The classic. After using my E on Baron a couple times, we're gonna set up to recall, but then I realize I need a little bit more gold. So I greed out. Usually a bad play, but Zoe's dead anyway, and Shaco's still on the map and hasn't reset. So it's usually fine to do this to get a little bit more XP, a little bit more more gold in the pocket and then we recall so that we have enough um, it's not ideal based on macro because you want to just all reset with Baron at the same time so that you all buy and reset at the same time have the same amount of tempo but when you need a little bit more gold for an item it makes it a bit awkward see the team working in a team fight <laughs> we're just going towards it nothing too crazy just on our way to help the boys looking for a pick we're gonna play off to the side try to hope that we find someone who's out of position like honestly that scion or the teemo hit him with a fatty fatty q flash and then we go into the entire enemy team we get Blast Shield, we get the Death's Dance procs, and that's how we end up living after Kindred Ult. It seems like I should have died, but because of the Ignore Pain from the Death's Dance, which is broken, we ended up, you know, absolutely slapping him up. I go for the other Inhib, totally unnecessary. <laughs> get another free kill on the way out, and easy game, just like that. So thank you, thank you for watching this goofy, goofy game. Who needs a beat down?